All right, well, that was Shipping Up to Boston on WICR Fast Fest. What a great song, Pat. Up, oh, great song. I very mean, Irish. Very, very, very Irish for those yep. Irish clattering, if you can't see. Um, so, yeah, Pat, Pat's very Irish. I'm pretty Irish, yeah. How, how much Irish are you, Pat? Um, believe it or not, um, you know, I'm, I'm telling this over the, over the airs of the radio, um, I am not 100% Irish. <gasps> you jest. I'm not even kidding. What are you, Pat? I am, uh... If you don't mind me asking. I'm, uh... Predominantly Irish, but I have a speck of German in me. Okay, that's, that's interesting. So interesting. Yeah, you know it is what it is. It's pretty cool. Um, Unique. But I, I keep that. I keep that on the DL. So you know, I am, you know, I'm Patrick Finn McCormack. I don't like people thinking I'm a German or some kind of fraud. Or what are you, Alex? Alex Vizzano? Okay, Mr. Italian over here. I'm Italian, but I'm also Greek and Irish. There's nothing wrong with that. I mean, it's who we are. It's who you we are. be who you want to be. We are who we are. We are who we are. Yep. Kill it. Okay. Yep, kill it. Um, so, yeah. Let's talk about some hockey, Pat. Mr. Right. NHL over here. Mr. What do you NHL? got for us? Well, let me tell you, Alex. Are you excited for the game tonight? I am super excited for the Rangers to beat those Flyers in Philly. Are you? I'm extremely excited. All right. Now, here, here's what we should. We're going to predict scores tonight. Okay. Um, honest opinion. Who do you have winning tonight? And, and who, who's going to be the deciding player? On the game tonight. That's that's a tough one. But I'm you know, this is a bold prediction here. Um I want and I think the Rangers are going to win by a score of two to one. Okay. And the deciding player, the key player, the MVP of the game. Okay. And this is a very bold prediction, ladies and gentlemen. All right. I like bold. San Luis. San San Luis, yeah. Hey, you know what? I can uh, I can respect that. You know, because he's been playing a lot better in these last few games. Did he, he has. Did he have two goals last game? He is. Um. Uh, I'm not. I don't think he had two goals. But he had a goal. I think he had a goal. Yeah. But um, when you look at San Luis, especially during the year, um, when he came to the Rangers, um, he didn't really get off the biggest start that no, they would have liked him to. Not at all. Um, he only really had only one goal in the regular season, mm-hmm. in all 17 or so games that he played with the Rangers. Right. Um, and being in the postseason, um, San Luis has been there before, mm-hmm. just a few times with the Lightning, but um, he has that veteran presence. He's uh, easily one of the better players in the game. Yeah. Um, and I think that when you have a veteran on the team, it brings leadership. Definitely. And especially with the Rangers. The Rangers have had experience going to the playoffs. They've been to the uh, Eastern, Conference, uh, Eastern Conference Finals a few years ago. Mm-hmm. Um, they knew they know what it takes to get there, um, but having that extra um, skill, threat, yeah, skill or threat for the in, Rangers, in San Luis. yeah. So I could, you know, I could see them. I could see them having a big game tonight. Mm-hmm. Um, Henry Longfist needs to be well. I'll tell you what needs to improve is uh, Rangers power play. That, I was, I was literally, I was just gonna say that, that they is, have to do so is, much better on every that game. Play. Every game you see, um, Philadelphia is taking. Penalties that where the Rangers capitalize they at least capitalize. two or two or three of them, um, you know, makes a difference. I'll give a, uh, I'll give a shout out to the, the to the the penalty killing of the Philadelphia Flyers. They've they are doing they do very well. They have been doing well. They've been blocking a lot of shots. Um, uh, Sean Couturier has been one of the Flyers' best penalty killers mm-hmm. of the whole series. Definitely. Um, so you have to give credit to them. But if the Rangers can capitalize on the uh, the penalties of the Flyers to make take, that will make a big difference for tonight. And if they can capitalize on the penalties tonight, um, I could predict the Rangers winning as well. Yeah, definitely. They, I mean, because I remember bringing back to the game of Easter when they lost to the Flyers because they were up, I think, by two. Like, no, yeah, they were up to nothing in the first and period. And literally, they just the, they had so they many had, power plays. Mm-hmm. They, had, they had a few power plays. It was just. Confusion and, and you could couldn't give, you do could give the nod to, to Ray Emery for playing a pretty solid game. Oh no, he played fantastic. Um, but you but still got to capitalize yeah. on that being the Rangers. Yeah, yeah. They absolutely. couldn't do anything right on that. They, the, excuse me, the Flyers just kept clearing it every chance they get. Yeah, yeah. It was uh, just, it was just rough. We'll see tonight. I think that uh, I think the Rangers. You know, if they they keep their game plan and play play their game, don't give into Philadelphia's uh, physicality. Like they have, they haven't pretty much all series. Yeah. Um, I can see the Rangers winning tonight. Well, I'm I, I'm pulling for the Rangers. Mm-hmm. Uh, and on uh, other big news, um, the LA Kings down three nothing. Oh my goodness! In the series to the Sharks. Oh my. Coming goodness. back, they're forcing Game Seven. 
I don't know how they did it. I well, I can tell you right now. I once that series was three zero. I you know I can see the Kings when they won game uh, four. I was like, hey, you know what? They'll bring it back to L.A. Maybe they'll win the game in L.A. But I was you know, they'll definitely lose at the uh, ASP Pavilion in San Jose. Mm-hmm. And um, the you know, hats off to the Kings. They're doing the, great. Everyone's you know everyone's playing good hockey, especially uh, Andre Kopitar. They're one of their main stars. Okay. Um, he's he's just been absolutely fantastic. So, um, game seven soon, and uh, where is game seven in LA? G- game seven's in uh, San Jose. Oh, it's in San Jose. Yeah, yeah, Ooh. San Jose. So we'll see. Um, just I think uh, for the most part, Jonathan Quick needs to be on his you know needs to stand on his head. He's not had the best series for the LA Kings. Um, but you know, good for the Kings come back. Uh, those pa- these past three games, they really, uh, it's not, you know, it's not really good for the, their fan base. It's good for the NHL. You know, it helps yeah. viewership. It helps spread the game well. So, you know, very entertaining next couple of days for hockey fans. Yeah, I heard the Kings, like, that was very good for the Kings that they came back and they're forcing a game seven. Yeah. And, but there's also the closing of series, namely the Pittsburgh uh, Columbus series. Yeah. Hats off to Pittsburgh winning the series 4-2. to two. Was it four to two? Yeah, they won. It they won game six. So I, they won game you know, six. They, that's one of those games, like uh, similar to last year when uh, the Penguins played the Islanders. You know, they t- the Islanders took them to you know took them to six games, um, playing a solid, you know, pr- pretty solid game against uh, Pittsburgh and Columbus. Pretty much did the yeah. same thing. Mm-hmm. Um, but Pittsburgh played a great game the other day. They played a very good. They I played, think Malkin had a hat played, trick. Yeah, they played fantastic in game five, and they played. Pretty well for the, uh, the, for the mo- yeah. most yeah for the most part played pretty well at uh, game six. Evgeny Malkin had the uh, hat trick, but um, <laughs> <laughs> hat trick. Uh, but um, <laughs> you gotta love the fact that you know Colum- uh, hockey in Columbus is thriving. Oh my goodness! They um, and you know what they should be proud too. I mean mm-hmm. they've only been around what fourteen years, fifteen yeah, years. Yeah, they've and they've, they've already they made the playoffs twice already. Yeah, yeah. Well, pff, but for the most part, um, you know they have they have good stars. They've uh. You know, Brandon Dubinsky, Calvert, you know, uh, Cam Atkinson, you know, they're just solid players. So mm-hmm. I'm, uh, you know, the, the the future looks pretty bright for uh, hockey in Ohio. That's good. Which is good. That's very good. Um, I know it's always nice to see that. Yeah, and then you have Game Seven, Avalanche in the Wild. Oof. Which, which is, that's also been a great series. That's Nathan, fantastic. Nathan McKinnon on the Avalanche has been absolutely fantastic. Um, Zach Parise on the Wild, just equally as well. Um, so, you know, we're going to have a lot of good hockey to watch. Good. Good. I can't wait. I'm really excited to see what happens. Now, uh, Alex, shifting the topic um, recently in the NBA, what can you tell me happened? Um. Okay, wow, that's a completely overhaul of the topic right now. <laughs> I mean, we just went from NHL to NBA. I don't even know what happened in the NBA, actually, because I, I just found out this morning. Oh, really? And I didn't even, like, I didn't look it oh, up okay. yet or anything. or. Well... Um. You, uh, next segment, we'll we'll you know dive deep a little deeper into Let's give it. a little preview. But for the most part, um, Clippers owner uh, Donald Sterling um, is fined pr- two point five million dollars. Whoa. Um, he's give up ownership of the Clippers. Wow. And is banned for the NBA for life. For life. Banned by the NBA for life. Yeah. For life. For life. So. Wow. Not a good day for uh, Mr. Donald. That is crazy. Um, but we'll, we'll, you know, we'll talk about that ne- uh, segment next. Oh but yeah. For oh, the yeah. most part, but you know, it's, uh, it's been a pretty busy, uh, week in sports. Oh yeah. We got a lot to talk about here on Fast Fest and that was a little preview for all you watching out there. So now we're going to kick it back into the music right now with a little throwback. Cause why not? Throwing back is fun. It's a Thursday? No, it's a Tuesday. Then you're a hypocrite. I may be, but still throwing back is pretty fun. Is it not? I mean, yeah, it's pretty fun. All right, so we're going to throw it way back to about, what year is this, Pat? Um, 2014, Alex. Okay, so we're going to throw it back to 35 ye- 45 years. Wow. What year was that? Um, 1945. Wait, what would you say? If it's the year 2014, math lesson for everybody. 2014, take 45 years from that. I'm sorry, what? I fell asleep. Okay, lovely. Very, very mature, Pat. Very, very mature. <laughs> well, in case all of you wondering, 45 years ago was 1969. Okay. 
Do you know what happened in 1969, Pat? The summer of 1969, obviously. Well, obviously, thanks for ruining the joke of yep, my transition. That's, what I, that, that's basically why I'm here. I'm here to prevent your corny jokes. Well, you know what else? Oh, you know what else? All, ha, you know what else happened in '69? The Jets, Mets, both won the World Series and the Super Bowl, and we had landed on the moon, USA. So rock on. All right, so. Summer of '69 by Brian Adams here on WSCR Fest. <laughs>